Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Hill Farmstead. Uh, this is Huga Hoppy Red Ale. So if you want to uh, get into the review, uh, please skip this part because I'm going to you know, get into a little bit of a, a spiel. And so Huga is a Danish word and it's a word we don't have in English. It's something similar to coziness, warm, inviting um, feelings with, it, within an environment, uh, usually with good company, something like that. It's very much a word that has meanings of uh, Danish uh, cultural identity. So, uh, you know, even if we, if we did have it, it would be a different concept in English uh, or American. And, but there are similar words in other languages, which would include German with gemütlichkeit, uh, and in Dutch, there's geselligkeit. Uh, so uh, pretty interesting stuff. I, you know, I thought I'd just do a little uh, inch, uh, you know, research. It's really cool to learn about um, Hygge, and I'll post a link below to that. But this is a hoppy red ale coming in at 6.8%. Uh, not a very popular style, but always obviously really cool to see what Sean Hill can do uh, with beer. So uh, let's dig in. Huge shout out to my good friend Gene for this one too, by the way. Thank you so much for check, uh, grabbing this. So the beer. Ooh, really nice color. This is a, hmm, what is that? That's a, uh, yeah, that's a uh, medium to deep, deep amber color, you know, uh, medium to deep amber. A little bit of haze. Yeah, a little bit of haze, but it's really rich and dark. Almost like this garnet, uh, deep maroon kind of color. But yeah, it's a yeah, medium to deep amber kind of color. Really, really very much amber. Um, I think I want to say the uh, Treehouse Mob is a little darker than this, even leaning towards like a light brown, but this is pretty red. You get uh, hints of red in the light. Very pretty looking beer. Let's get the room on this. Mm, very nice. What is that? It's very nice. It's delicate. Um, <laughs> how do I? It's a little bit rose petal-y, like rose petal, rose water, with that kind of um, floral kind of action, a little bit of sweetness. Yeah, um, a little bit of hints of citrus peel, a little bit of grassiness, floral, hints of underlying herbaceous qualities, you know, all those subtle kind of notes in there. A little bit of this kind of a biscuity malt as well, definitely that uh, amber kind of sweetness. Yeah, a little bit of like caramel kind of sweetness, a little bit of candy sugar kind of sweetness. Yeah, wow, it smells just really like inviting, really nice and delicate stuff. You know, again, hints of um, a nice combination of hints of citrus, hints of a little bit of like um, uh, citrus grapefruit peel, orange peel, sweetened uh, orange peel. Oh, really nice. Uh, a little leading towards a little bit of juiciness. Cheers. Mm. Oh, Ooh, wow, that's pretty interesting. Really nice. So the first thing you get is a nice kind of like rich kind of maltiness. Um, reminds me a little bit of a um, uh, some of those German beers like a Mountain, just like not as rich and bready, but really nice depth of malt character. Mm, yeah, <laughs> you get a little bit of like uh, sweetness up front, a little bit of like um, um, kind of like substantial whole grain kind of a bready kind of uh, malt quality. But then you're smacked with a big kind of like West Coast kind of pine kind of action. Uh, not as soft as the uh, uh, Vermont beers. This is a, definitely a, a bitter beer, yeah. Up front, it's a nice kind of like um, huge punch of floral. Underlying, it's kind of like really woodsy, earthy note, really like earthy roots, uh, biting into roots and bark, sitting on that tongue. With a nice kind of like uh, overwhelming theme of like, uh, or general theme of kind of like pininess and green uh, uh, resin kind of qualities. Bounce on with um, a nice kind of like a grapefruit, um, very bitter kind of grapefruit bitterness with a little bit of that malt coming in, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of, depth, um, again, like uh, deep bre uh, breadiness and hints of like caramel sweetness that help that uh, intense bitterness. As usual, nice and soft, a nice zipper. And as I wait more, the malt comes into a little bit more and then it helps to cut away from that intense, like woody, uh, woodsy kind of like root um, bitterness that's uh, attacking the tongue. but like dried herbs, uh, intense kind of um, uh, medicinal dried herbs sitting on the tongue. Really interesting stuff, you know, wonderful nose, nice, uh, you know, transitioning on this beer. It is a quite bitter beer. Um, as for, I mean, granted, I'm not Danish, so 
I don't know what what, what it uh, feels like. It, uh, you know what Huga feels like. I wouldn't necessarily say this is Huga. I wish it was a little bit more, uh, more like a nose. A nose was who it seemed like Huga to me. Uh, you know, I wish it was a little bit more balanced on the palate. Um, it is bitter. I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm waiting, and that bitterness just lingers on. It's probably the like you know even at a six point eight hoppy beer, it's probably the bit most bitter. Uh, perception wise in a beer for um, a Hill Farmstead beer I've ever had. Yeah, it's just really bitter. I'm sitting there and it's still attacking the tongue. For me, I would imagine uh, a beer, you know, named this would be something like a really nice and decadent, mellow kind of stout or something, really uh, something you want to sip on in front of a, um, uh, you know, fireplace or around a dinner with, uh, after, you know, with friends. I don't know. But it's still a very nice beer. Uh, still awesome Hill Farmstead stuff. Um, as for Amber Ales, I definitely would say I prefer the Treehouse Ma. Really wish this beer had a little bit more sweetness going on to counteract that intense bitterness, but still obviously great stuff. Um, as for baiting, it's still just like, in general, despite that intense bitterness, it's still delicate um, in certain terms. That malt character is very nice, not too uh, cloying on the sweetness, but bitterness is pretty intense. As for baiting, uh, let's go with a 90 on this. Might be one of the lowest rating um, Hill Farms at beers uh, I've ever given, but still a 90, which is still uh, incredible stuff. So until next time, guys, cheers. Um, let me know what you guys know about Huge and um, you know these concepts, what you think about the Hoppy Amber Ale in general uh, or the style in general, if you've had this beer. Until next time, guys, cheers. Later.